Well, hi one more time, and this is probably the last time for this recipe, and it's chicken fajitas part three. And they've been cooking now for about, oh, maybe 10 minutes or so, and uh, pretty much, I think, ready. So I'm going to have a quick look and see what happens. Oh, yes, beautiful, just beautiful. So I'm going to shut that down. And now I'm going to put it together and call it lunch. So you just wait for me right here and I will get it together. So for your fajitas, there's lots of options. You can do what you like. This is what I like. I have a nice whole wheat tortilla or tortilla, however you want to pronounce it. So we'll take the tortilla and then we will, ooh, that's hot. We'll go to that. No, we won't. We'll get an oven mitt. We'll take our tortilla and then we'll take a little bit of our mixture here of chicken and peppers and onions. Drop that on there. I guess I should be using a spoon, not a spatula. But eh, it all gets there eventually. Couple of green peppers, couple of yellow peppers, couple more pieces of chicken, and there it is. Now these uh, tortillas are kind of small, so I can't load it up like I normally would. On top of this. On top of this, we can put some, well, let's start here. Some nice chunky salsa. Beautiful stuff. We'll put that just along the side, like so. Some like lots, some like a little. Then we will take, if it's used, you need it to be more hot, of course. You can always add a splash or two of <laughs> hot sauce, Frank's Red Hot. Give that a couple of shakes. Ooh, baby. Delicious. And uh, then we can add a little bit of sour cream. I should spread it around, but I'm being kind of lazy right now. Oh, wait, I can use this spoon right here. There we go. Spread that around. Cover up the top a bit. Nice, nice. And a little bit of Tex-Mess grated cheese. Throw that on top. And there you have chicken fajita. Whoops. Fold it up. Roll it up however you feel. Squish one end so it doesn't all fall out. And voila. Mmm. Mmm. Hillbilly Kitchen Rocks. Thanks for watching.